it up. I also see why Adiban's played that move. I see his trick. So he is hoping that uh, Jordan Van Fries plays the idea we mentioned a few moves ago. He's hoping that Black actually pushes this pawn forward. Okay. So now if White's Queen takes, as we mentioned, the Rook will come across, pin and win. But this won't happen. Instead, he'll take another pawn. And wow, OK... Okay. He's walked right into it, Jordan Van Verist. He actually played that move. It was tempting, but it's a trap. Because now after the black <gasps> after the black queen takes this knight, now you take this pawn and it's not the same. I was gonna say, this is his idea. This is gonna happen. Now what the black rook cannot come across because you sacrifice your queen, you play check. And now that you've lured your opponent's queen onto this square, the knight jumps in, and this is a fork. Double attack and you win. This is a trap. Adiban's wow. sprung on Jordan Van Froest and Jordan's gone into it head first. Suddenly a huge turnaround and White looks like he's winning. Um, right now, this is the current position. The move Jordan wanted to play, it loses. The White Queen would take and we would have seen that Knight Fork. Let's mm -hmm. check out Jordan's face yeah. because he must have missed this one. And uh, now if the King moves, the Black King has to move. The White Knight jumps forward again with a Fork, attacking the Black Queen and Rook at the same time. Oh, oh, wow. This is dramatic development. Is it Adiban tricking back? Yeah. He got tricked, but the, the tricker became the tricky. Yeah. And <laughs> now, yeah. I mean, all results still possible for now, but for sure the momentum's on white side. Yeah. Um, wow. What a turnaround. And uh, the king has uh, moved away from the check, but of course... The knight now springs forward and now this is the point. The knight is attacking the rook and the queen. No way to defend both of them. It's just so game over. It is game over because suddenly white has this overwhelming amount of pawns in compensation for the, the bishop and the knight. So rook and how many pawns, David? Um, let's count quickly. Three, yeah, three, six, three. seven. <laughs> rook and three pawns. Rook and three. Yeah. So white has a rook and three pawns for a knight and a bishop. And if we do some quick maths, Yavanka, yeah. rook and three pawns, that's five plus three, eight. Mm. And uh, knight and bishop together, it's three each. So that's yeah. six. So white's two points up after he takes this rook. But also, the Black King will be a bit of a target. Yeah, as the Black King is a target, the look of the Black Knight's got no, uh, it's got no potential. It's stuck on the edge of the board, and uh, the Black Bishop is also not a great piece for the time being. Mm -hmm. So all those kind of factors mean that, yep, it should be a walk in the park for Adiban now.